photographers, composition cannot make a candid, but good composition can definitely enhance a candid. It can mirror what the subject is already conveying, or it can actually invoke feelings all on its own. So today I'm going to give you guys five compositional tips to enhance your candids. Number one is to use a Dutch angle. A Dutch angle is simply when you take your horizontal and vertical lines and you tilt them. It can be used in cinema to induce anxiety or to suggest things have gone awry. It can be used to kind of mirror what the subject matter is feeling internally, but it can also just be a whimsical approach to framing. It can make your shot feel a little bit like less planned, like you saw a moment, you quickly grabbed it, and you didn't have time to straighten out your horizon line. I know that doesn't really make sense because who doesn't have time to shoot straight, but it can give that sense. It can also just create a more dynamic image. And when you have a really lively moment, it, is, it especially works well to complement that. Number two is to shoot through things to frame your subject. I often shoot through things in order to kind of block off my shot, draw the eye in to my subject matter. But I also shoot through things to kind of give a more candid feel. Now, what it evokes for me is a very fly on the wall shot, a shot that from an outsider where you see something happening and you're not really repositioning as a photographer to capture it. Having those sort of imperfections obscuring your field of view, that kind of thing, it just feels more natural. It feels like a little bit like it's a shot you could grab at that time and it feels less contrived. Ironically, we're planning this out and we are purposely shooting through things in order to give it a more candid look, I know, but that's okay. Number three is to use a tilt shot to shoot from extreme high and low angles. Now, what this does is it varies up your perspective. You don't always need to be shooting from the waist level or from eye level, whatever height you're at. But it also can convey different meanings. When you shoot from way below, it has the effect of making someone look more important, making them look powerful, strong. If you shoot from above, it has the opposite effect. It could convey someone's disenfranchised, weak, uh, has no power. So you can use this effectively to not only offer a varied perspective, but to also convey different meaning. Number four is to not be so clinical with your composition. When you adhere to every rule of composition you can in one photograph and it's really on the nose, your image can start to look clinical. You don't want it to look lifeless. A candid should feel raw and have energy and mirror the subject matter. But when you have this perfect perfectly clean composition and it's just really clear okay here's your rule of thirds here's your leading lines it starts to feel very stale and clinical avoid that what i recommend is shooting a bit looser and just if you're going to use several rules of composition that's fine if that's what that image calls for but you can use rules of composition in a less clinical way leading lines don't always have to be like a fence post running right toward the subject matter for example there's leading lines everywhere so shoot a little looser and if you are going to use those rules just make sure it's not so on the nose number five is to break the rules be unconventional and try different things Experiment, but also know that when you break rules, that has meaning as well. So for example, your subject tends to look inward on the frame, not outside of the frame. When the subject looks outside of the frame, it can feel a little uneasy because you don't know what they're looking at. If they have a very distinct emotion, then it's you really have no context and it really makes you wonder. It can make you feel anxious or it can make you just curious. So my next video will focus on the conceptual ways you can enhance your candids from your behavior to how you interact with people. It's going to be a really long video. I'm excited about it, but also it's very daunting. Remember, I'm a full time professional photographer and I teach photography and it's really hard for me to make these videos. That said, I want to thank everyone that has supported the channel. Thank you to my Patreon subscriber or donor, uh, Linda Allen. She's the first and uh, hopefully there will be many more. What I want to do with Patreon is really help people. So I'm going to create different levels in which I can mentor you. I'm not looking for you. Hey, just here's some money because you make YouTube content. I don't need that. And if you can't afford it, no worries. I'm going to continue making free content for you guys. And for anyone that wants additional help, you're welcome to check out my Patreon. I will link it below. Um, if you are excited about that next video, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.